it to us. And you gonna tell me to go in my might? No, 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 God. Come on back. Let's have a conversation. You want to deal with what I want to talk to you about first. Lord, look at Gideon. <laughs> Say, nigga, please. By a way to keep your relationship with God strong. <laughs> Be careful yeah. when you come to God yeah. with an accusing finger. Because yeah. I want you to understand, He could have took Gideon out of here. Yeah. <laughs> but He rather just said, I'm going to ignore all that you just raised to me. Go ahead and walk in your purpose. Here's why God can say that. Because God knew what all the people Gideon was talking about had did. See, uh, when, when some people talk about you, Sometimes you don't even have to respond. Maybe if y'all get happy. Maybe if y'all get happy. You don't have to respond because what they saying really is true. And so instead of you wasting your breath trying to say, I ain't do that. Let's sit quietness. Gideon understood. He was younger. So he had not journeyed with the Lord all this time. And now I come to understand even the more as I get older. Why my mother and my great grandmother did certain things the way they did it. And why even though things wasn't the way they wanted them to go, why they still kept walking with the Lord? Because they understood that there were some times when they were not walking with the Lord, but the Lord was still walking with them. That's what excites me and gives me hope that even when I don't walk with the Lord, He walks with me. He talks with me. He's a lot of goodness and mercy to follow me all the days of my life. When I go places I shouldn't go, when I say things I shouldn't when I do things I shouldn't do, thank God that God has a realm of protection of angels that are walking with me and guiding me. And even when I'm sick, all night and all day, the angels are watching over me and leading me and guiding me. And I wish I had a witness in here. You've been some places, you've done some things, you laid down with some people, you drank some things, you smoked some things, you snorted some things. But in spite of
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People don't know you by your name, they know you by your drink. It's never too late to be what God has called you to be. 
It ain't too late to go to school. It ain't too late to start a business. It ain't too late to get married. It is not too late to turn your life around. I don't care how old you are. It's never too late for the Lord to turn you around and fix your life. And let me tell you why we are stuck where we are. Because we are so comfortable with being who we are used to being. Well, my job is to be the life of the party. Yeah. It's not a party if I don't get drunk. Who would want to have the negative reputation? Yeah. Come on, yeah. There's certain friends I have, I know. Every time we get together, this is what they want to do. <laughs> That's, this is the reason why I'm even preaching this because the Lord has allowed me to go through a Gideon experience where he's calling me from among some things and separating me from some people. Because you cannot go where God is trying to take you as long as you stay stuck with people who don't want to go nowhere. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Rusty Mills, bring my basket back up here because I'm going to give myself an offer right here. And I'm preaching again. Go with the strength you have and rescue Israel from the Midianites. Whenever God tells you to do something, please understand that he has already outlined and has already blueprinted what's getting ready to take place. This doesn't catch God by surprise when he's telling you to go. He already worked it out. All you got to do is go. We start doing it. You go get it. Start acting like a nut. <laughs> but Lord, my clan is weak. Yeah. And I'm the least in my entire family. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> because the least in people's eyes can be the brightest in God's eyes. <laughs> Let me help somebody before I move on. I don't care. How much your family counts you out? If God has called you to greatness, you shall be great. You could have been the black sheep. You could have been the one who was the one who raised the most hell at every family reunion. But if God has spoke greatness over your life, all you got to do is walk in your greatness. I told you before, I put on the words of Paul which are behind me. I press the one the mark of the prize of the higher calling which is in Christ Jesus. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I'm forgetting those past things and walking in our future. Church all your life. 
You've heard, I will be with you. You say, well, preacher, I had to go through some things. And I feel by myself. And I kept wondering, where was the Lord at then? Because they told me then, after they got done praying for me in the church, God is with me. And I still went through it. Lord, I, I, I prayed to get the job. And I prayed for the relationship to work. And I prayed so I could stay in school. And I prayed that the marriage wouldn't fail. I prayed and I ate healthy. And I exercised. And cancer still didn't attack my body. But they keep saying, God said he will be with me. Here's the promise. God didn't say that I'll be with you only in good times. People have this unrealistic view about God. That he's only supposed to be with me and only allow me to go through great times. And I'm always supposed to be in the mountain. But you've got to understand, in order to appreciate the mountain, sometimes God's got to take you to the valley. Sometimes people got to walk away from you and leave you by yourself. And you got to deal with some things on your own that you feel like you can't handle. And you want to quit and you want to give in. But you got to understand that God says, I will be with you. This is the promise. If nobody else walks with you, God says, I'll be with you. And when you look back on what you've been through, you can attest to the fact that even though you was by yourself, you was never lonely. Can, can I tell you what the psalmist says in Psalm 46? What? God is our refuge and strength. A very pleasant help in the time of trouble. God assures us that he will be with us. If the Lord is with us, why is he allowing all this to happen to us? Because sometimes God just wants to take a walk with you. Have you considered that the only time God gets to spend with you is when you're going through something? Sometimes God has to put us in some tough predicaments because that's the only time He hears from us. The only time God communicates with us is when we are in tough and tight and tumultuous situations. And He allows us to go through them so that when we come out, we will hold on to the relationship that we established in the store. Because here's the thing. If you can trust God in the store, Trust me in the 
that you normally pull on has now become empty. Can you trust me? When you can't find the words to pray, when every day you have to push yourself to get out of the bed, can you trust me? When you're in a house with other people, yet you feel alone.
put you on this path if I thought you were going to fail?
I was stripping their feet. He's trying to take them. Ah. Yeah. 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 Lord, they just on my spirit that some yeah. of us are wrestling because we want to get to where God's trying to take yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes our faith is a little weak. Yeah. Yeah. And so I want you to pray that God would increase their faith. My love. I says, all you need is faith the size of a mustard seed. Yeah. Get somebody to pray. Even right now. Right right you ain't got to know who they're dealing with, but pray. Okay. Yes. The God was stripping yes. them. Yes. But this is y'all going out. Yes. You ain't got to know them. Just pray. Yes. Thank you. 
Go one way. 
If you're not saved, you're going another way. A second invitation, you say, I'm saved, but I don't have a church home. And let me tell you, I may be a little biased, but I think this is the best church in the world. Because this is more like a family than a church. You can be a church home. Come. You can be a part of this church or we can find you a church. I got some English churches you can go to. If you don't want to go to this English church. Is there one unsaved? My church. See, I fell away from the church and I want to restore my fellowship. Come on and come. God is married to the next slide. Are you here? That's your neighbor. Are you saved? So make sure they tell you yes. Yeah. And they say, that's them. They can have a church home. What church is it? Because if they don't say a church, a real name, bring them up here. Come on, sit on your feet so we can get out of here. If you've enjoyed the rest of your experience today, can you get out of here by the grace? Lord, Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you again for your presence and for your spirit. Thank you for coming and visiting with us today. We thank you for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. God, I thank you that we're walking out of here with increased faith on today. Because we know that you are with us. God, I cancel every assignment of the enemy that would try to come up against the mind of your people. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. I speak peace to every anxiety. I speak peace to every word. God, do what you do best, and that's be God. Cover us under your blood as we leave this place, but never your presence. Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the communion of his Holy Spirit may it rest on the divine hence now and forevermore. People God said, Amen. 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 Amen.